I went to a video where I interviewed Jay because he wasn't really properly introduced in a previous video, which is linked somewhere at the top. He's played such a crucial role in how life was in Denmark the last two years, especially after, I guess, since we met, plus the asylum procedure as well. So yeah, I'll let him take it away. Hello, I am Jesper and I have been living in Denmark my whole life. I was born here and raised here uh, along with a younger sister and an older brother with my parents living together until I was an adult. I recently, as in three years ago, uh, finished my education and became a teacher. And I teach like an assortment of different subjects such as English, uh, Danish literature and biology, to mention the three major ones. I met Washera while meeting up with a, uh, a pair of friends, two guys from Moldova, who needed a third roommate for their apartment. And I didn't know who the third roommate was when I came and visited. And then I saw that it was a girl. And so I was intrigued and just like spending the night watching anime and like hanging out and sorry and then when it was time you introduced me to mm -hmm. mead yes i did introduce you to something called mead did we have any that night mm -hmm. all we of did. it yeah I, I don't remember that at all but it it makes sense that there was some amount of alcohol involved because i felt very brave and mm -hmm. uh, advances were made and we ended up dating for something like six months after. It was a pretty cool evening. Led to a, a pretty cool, like, six months of dating. Uh, what happened after then, I'll just go on, even though I'm, I'm, I'm talking way too much. Uh, what happened after then really? is we decided to kind of take a break from the romantic relationship because there was the issue of Oshara's deportation. And we didn't really know like when and how and like what was going to happen. And uh, it felt awkward having a romantic relationship if you didn't know if the relationship was going to, to end in a month or a couple of weeks or however long, because you were looking for work at the time. Then we came up with an idea of, of trying to prolong your stay by applying for asylum. Then COVID hit and everything slowed down to a crawl and you were sent off to deportation centers and stuff while I was trying my very best to get you out of those deportation centers as much as possible by letting you stay in my apartment for as much of that time as was reasonable. And by reasonable, I mean as much as the government would allow. Because they needed you to be there and check in and do chores and whatever uh, in order to make sure that you hadn't tried to escape their, their vile claws. <laughs> so that's how we met. And that's kind of what happened in between meeting and then uh, the whole deportation thing which was a, a bummer, like the whole process was a bummer, but it was nice hanging out in the meantime. And so because of all the niceness of hanging out in the meantime, uh, Oshera uh, offered me that if I was ever to, to visit Kenya, it would be happy to host me. And so I have planned to go on holiday uh, in Kenya this winter. And I'm looking forward to it. I just got a confirmation from the Airbnb that the dates work out and have been booked. So now I have a place to stay and I'm really looking forward to trying the food and the drinks and seeing people and seeing you again, all this stuff, like Likewise. all this nice stuff. So that's me. That's my introduction of me. I hope it was succinct, kind of, mm -hmm. probably not. I tend to be a bit rambly and I apologize to all the viewers who may have watched the last video it's where I may fine. have rambled on a bit too you much. Oshara can't okay. see any, Oshara doesn't see any like faults in me at all, but I assume that some people might think that I talk too long. Yeah. No, and to those people, I apologize. I just, 
I was a bit nervous uh, being recorded while having a video call for the first time. So back to you. Okay.